Okay, so in the last video, I left this. I cylindrically um, made UVs on this object. And you can see some problems that occur. We have this shape that has a form change. Uh, the form change exists because it goes from a cylindrical face, which is a straight on projection, to now a top projection in this area. So we need to represent that better here in UV land. Well, the good news is this is really hard. Um, you're always going to get some kind of distortion in this area, but you have to kind of think about what you're going to do as far as the texture. Let's say I was going to create uh, something that goes around this bottle right here. okay? And then I was going to create something that went around this section of the bottle. Well, those are the very important sections. Those are going to be separate textures and the rest might be glass. So those would be a material because glass doesn't need a texture. So you have to really think about what you're making here when you're doing UVs. Where is your texture at? If it was a label that goes right here, I'm going to use these cuts effectively and I'm going to only use may maybe these UVs right here instead of everything. Okay, well let's look at that for a second. Let's cylindrically map this. Okay, let's cylindrically map that part. Kind of move it off to the side. And let's also look at maybe this part. Okay, um, let's cylindrically map that one. Okay, move that up here. Okay, also, let's kind of look at the rest. What's left behind? Well, these two tracks. Well, let's go to UV. Control right click to shell. Control right click to face. And I got these left behind. Okay. And these can be cylindrically mapped also. Okay, now I got some stuff going on. Whoops, I didn't want to drag. What's the odds of dragging it right on top of the other ones? All right, so I have these pieces that don't represent this area very well. Okay, this area is my problem child. Well, what I could do here is go UV, grab that area and unfold it, and I get this, which is ugly. Or I can grab just the top part of it and unfold it, and then the bottom part and unfold it and I get something that's a little bit better. Okay, Now I got squares. Am I going to put a texture in that area? No, it's going to be a material. It's going to be glass. Okay, So I'm not really worried about this area right here. This top part, however, I want to get that just a little bit better looking. So I'm going to unwrap it there. Just like that. Okay, so since these are a material in this area, so they don't have a texture, I'm gonna put these off to the side just for a sec. These are where all my textures are gonna be. So these could be l larger than these. And what what will be nice about that is I can get more detail that way. I do want to make these square, so I'm going to go like that. And make these a little bit larger. Good. Good. Now, these two top parts, what to do about those? Well, the idea here is to get them 
um, the about the same size as far as these these squares go these ones right here and there we go now what I want to do is lay out the UVs so I'm going to jump into the next video and we're going to lay these out over on uh, this side of the street a little bit better and use this only okay so meet me back in the next video